The Fairphone Gen 6 is a whole new smartphone experience that is even more sustainable and modular than our previous products. It wouldn't really be a fair phone if it wasn't now, would it? Just like our older Fairphone models, the Fairphone gives you the power to open it up and replace parts within minutes in the comfort of your own home. But before you get started, here are some things to keep in mind. Find an even, level and clean surface to work on with a good light source so you don't miss anything. Make sure to switch off your phone. We recommend keeping a few things handy. A cloth to clean the surface of your phone. Two small containers to divide and keep all the small screws in place. A credit card, guitar pick, or other similar piece of plastic to help with removing parts. And a Torx T5 screwdriver, which you can find in our web shop. A word of caution. Please don't use any metal objects other than the screwdriver when working on the phone. You can easily get the job done with just your fingers and the card, pick, or the plastic piece we mentioned earlier. This will also protect the internal parts from unwanted damage. Watch this video from beginning to end before getting to work. This will help you get a clear idea of all the different steps involved in the process. You can then play the video again to follow the steps one by one. Got all that? Okay, here we go. In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace the cameras and earpiece. You'll need to remove the top unit to replace the camera and earpiece as well. Any replacement work on the Fairphone begins with taking these two screws on the top of the lower back cover off. Like we mentioned earlier, make sure the phone is switched off by pressing the power button and volume button. Depending on your settings, you might have to long press the power button to access the power menu. Here's a quick tip. It's easy to confuse the outer screws with the inner screws when disassembling and reassembling the device. The main difference is the length of the screws. The longer screws go on the outside, the shorter ones stay on the inside. We start by unscrewing the two screws on the lower back cover and sliding the lower back cover off towards the bottom. Now, keeping the phone with the screen facing down, you need to start removing the five screws around the battery. There are two on each side of this metal sheet covering the battery and one up top in the middle, right here on the connector cover. Make sure to keep all the screws safely in a separate container. Now that the screws are out, you can slowly lift the connector cover on the top, disconnect the board to board or B2B connector underneath, and remove the battery, like so. Next, we have to remove the upper back cover by undoing the plastic hooks locking it in. You should ideally do this with a plastic card or pick to avoid any unwanted damage to the back cover and your fingers. Now, this is important. Please make sure that you start from the bottom left, then bottom right, and work your way upwards on both sides. Please be extra careful when doing this. And there you go. Now, you should see six black screws holding the top unit in place. Slowly unscrew all six black screws and keep them safely aside. You're going to need them later, so we hope you have a container handy to keep them in. You can now remove the top unit by disconnecting this B2B connector and then lifting it out using your plastic card or pick. Once you remove the top unit, you should see all three cameras underneath. Just make sure you don't touch the lenses. Let's start with the rear cameras. The one on top is the ultra wide camera and the bigger one below is the 50 megapixel main camera. Bigger sensor, bigger camera. Makes sense, right? You can use a credit card, guitar pick, or any small piece of flat plastic to help disconnect the B2B connector. It should lift up and there you go, it comes right out. Same for the ultra wide camera. We disconnect the B2B connector and that's it. Now, let's tackle the front camera, which is right on top in the middle here. First the B2B connector, then lift it out, like that. On the right side of the device, you'll find the earpiece. Let's do the same process we did for the top camera. Disconnect the B2B connector, and lift. Easy. Slotting in the replacements is just as easy. Use the same technique you used to take them out to put them back in. Make sure to reconnect all the B2B connectors while you do this. And there you go. 
Now that all the cameras and earpiece have been replaced, make sure the cables under the top unit are in the right place within the railing. Now, we can put the top unit back in place like this. And reconnect the B2B connector. Reattach all six black screws and then snap the upper back cover in place starting from the top. Make sure the upper back cover is in place before putting the battery back. Otherwise, you run the risk of bending the metal flaps on top, which is not something you want to do. Put the battery back, reconnect the B2B connector, make sure it clicks, cover it up, and re-screw the five screws that we took out. Now, slide the lower back cover back onto the device. Make sure to place it higher up on the phone so it slides in easily. And re-screw our two main back cover screws. And we're done! It's amazing what a screwdriver can do, right? Make sure everything's working properly by switching on your device and opening up the camera app. Or call a friend and tell them how easy it was to replace parts on your Fairphone. With your new earpiece, the conversation will be crystal clear. So, congratulations! You just repaired your device all by yourself. For more information on anything Fairphone related, check out the links in our description below.